Hello, this is a tutorial by Dominum Nom on how to use the RLBot training framework. So first off, what I'll be showing you is how to add training to the Python example bot and just basically a hello world training. We're going to be using a existing exercise and making our bot do that exercise. And then later on, I'll uh, show you how to build your own exercises and how to customize the failure conditions so, just a quick uh, disclaimer, uh, our bot training can be used with any bot language. So you can implement your bot in Java or uh, Scratch or whatever, um, and your training uh, code will be in Python. All right, so I've got my bot here. Uh, and what we want to do first is add our bot training as a dependency. So it's a different uh, Python package than RLBot. That is going to be used to run the training exercises. So it's a different runner. So we've added it to our dependencies and we now need to install the dependencies. You can either install the development version of RLBot training if you want to contribute back to it. But if you just want to use it, uh, just go pip install r requirements.txt. And that'll pu pull an Arrowbot, which you probably already have, and Arrowbot training. By the way, this uh, run the pi that you might be using um, that has this install command uh, already in there. Cool. We've installed Arrowbot training, uh, and now we want to make our bot do the training exercise. So I'll create a new directory called training, and within that, let's call it hello world training.py and I'll give you a quick demo of uh, what the robot training uh, exercises already has. So in the robot training package we have these common graders and common exercises. The exercises are how to set up your state and what to do with it. So the base class for the exercise is the training exercise which has a name, a grader, which uh, gives your exercise a grade every uh, tick or none. Um, I'll go into more specifics of that later. And the match config, what to run it with. So this means uh, uh, you're not limited to one bot uh, solo. You can uh, have any uh, match config that our bot uh, supports. So if you want to make your bot go against a built-in bot, for instance, or if you want to make a bot face itself in some odd configuration, you can do that via the match config. And then kind of the core thing that you probably are interested in uh, at the start is make game state. You might be familiar with the set game state uh, API that your bot can use. Um, so this kind of pulls it out of your bot code and puts it into the exercise code, which cleanly separates uh, the code bases. All right, uh, back to making our own bot uh, do some exercises. Let's pick the uh, common exercise uh, bronze goalie. And this module has a structure where you have classes which uh, inherit from a training exercise, in this case, indirectly, and they return the state to set. And at the end, we have this special method. It has to have that name uh, so that our bot training picks it up. So here we have a class that uh, imports indirectly from a training exercise. And we can import this exercise and make our own bot do this exercise. So if we go back to our bot training, we can do from our bot training dot common exercises dot bronze goalie import. And we want to imp import the exercise class input that and we want to have this special method which Albert training knows how to uh, pick up such that it runs your bot repeatedly. So so this thing returns a playlist. Um, so return a playlist is just a list of exercise objects. Um, return a ball rolling to goalie and it has a name rather than calling it ball rolling to goalie, let's call it uh, hello exercise world 
All right, and Owlbot training, once you've installed it, comes with a command called Owlbot training that should be available in your command prompt. This help message tells you the uh, way you can run it, and you just point it at a Python file and it repeatedly runs this exercise. So we are in the Owlbot Python example directory and we want to run this file, so that'll be Owlbot tra training run module training uh, folder and hello world training I just use tab complete there activated all right so what this is going to do we haven't actually told it to run our bot so it'll use the bot that's configured in the default configuration within this exercise um, while Rocket League is all right there we go Rocket League loaded and we have the simple bot, which is part of the Arabot training uh, framework. Uh, simple bot is running uh, this exercise. So if we go back into uh, here, we want to actually uh, change the config such that we use our bot instead of the default bot. Excellent. Exercises. All right, and the way we do this, the exercises. Uh, let's go to the training exercise. We have our match config, and I'm just gonna show you what match config looks like. Uh, so this is within the RL bot uh, source code rather than RL bot training. So we need to mutate one of these match config things and we want to change the player configs which is a list of player configs we want to make one of these which has has the config to run our bot and the easiest way to do that is just to use player config dot bot config and give it the path to your uh, player config path and the team it should be on so in our t case we want uh, the python example bot uh, being on the blue team and that should be the entire set of uh, bots that should be running within our exercises. Um, okay, I know we only have uh, one uh, exercise here where we could uh, directly mutate it, but I'm going to write it a for loop so that we can add more exercises later. Um, for exercise in exercises, uh, um, exercise dot. Um, match config dot uh, what is it called player underscore configs right player configs dot player configs equals uh, we just want our own bot and we make our own bot by player config dot bot config and we want to and this thing takes a path and a team uh, team is just this little enum uh, and path is a path loop to path which is just a standard python built-in thing uh, path I'm gonna specify that a little bit later and we want to import this team thing um, so from our bot dot um, Robot dot match config dot match underscore config dot team okay uh, match config dot match config import team and we want team dot blue and by the way for those who've been paying attention to this console um, the uh, exercise is still running and it uh, live reloads my file but it's telling me that uh, um, I'm having problems at, uh, running this file uh, so it's actually not running the exercise but it's one of the features you can keep developing your exercises and it'll automatically uh, reload them so player config is not defined we want to import player config from the same file we got theme from and now it should complain about path. Now we have path. Uh, and the way we 
uh, get a relative path because we could just uh, copy um, this file path uh, into here but that's not very nice because it's like an absolute path and it won't work on other people's computer so we want to make a relative path and the way we do that is we first grab the path to this file that we're currently in which is like this magic python uh, constant which contains a string to the current file and turn it into a path and uh, absolute. so that will get us the absolute path rather than any relative path and we want to go up to our word python example and then dig into this to find the bot config this path currently is this entire thing including the file name so parent removes the file name and we get the training folder and another parent gets us to uh, the root folder and then we want to go in the uh, python example directory and within that directory we want to choose the python example uh, config and let's format our code a little bit so it looks nicer so there we go our player configs are now just our own config which is a relative path to the python example config just make sure you don't uh, accidentally use your appearance you actually want to use the config that points to your uh, bot all right windows path is not callable what does that mean uh, I think it's without these. Okay, cool. So you don't have the parentheses after these. Um, team is not defined because it's just team. It's not capitalized here. All right. It's getting errors because our bot is trying to draw, but the match hasn't started yet. But now we can see it's actually running the Python example bot with this exercise that has been imported from our bot training. Um, and the nice thing is we can uh, customize this exercise, but we can also customize our bot while it's running because it reloads your bot after each exercise, which is nice. So one way to demonstrate that is to, I'm gonna change the rendering code rather than saying turn left and turn right. We're gonna make it a have arrows in that direction. So that uh, very quickly reloaded and uh, we get our new rendering code. So yeah, that's kind of the pattern. You make some exercises uh, and uh, let this run in the background, maybe in a different window, uh, on a different screen if you have it. And that'll be quite a nice workflow to develop your bot for some specific task. In the next part, I'll go over uh, how to make your own uh, training setups and how to create your own custom pass and failure condition. Because sometimes you don't want to have uh, a goalie failure condition or a striker failure condition. You might just want to make sure that your Python can aerial to the ball. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming up in a future episode. I'll be committing this uh, code to GitHub, so that'll be part of the Arrowbot uh, Python example if you want to merge that into your own bot. So yeah, good luck, have fun. You might need to tweak it a little bit to your own purpose, but that's kind of the point, it's customizable.